Moments ago, our Sarah Kustak and Richard Jefferson wrapped up this game and the first half. Thank you, Chris. Well, the Nets head into All-Star break doing pretty well. They're on a roll, winning 10 of their last 11. They've now won seven straight on the road. And, of course, Richard, the one thing that we were waiting for, I think a lot of um, those inside the Nets organization, in particular James Harden, excited for him to finally make his return back to Houston, considering all he had done for the organization, how he's been doing for the community, and, and of course, the way that it ended. So when you look at this game, uh, James Harden, eighth triple-double with the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, what did you see out of his approach and so much the performance as we've continued to watch him grow with this team? Well, I, I just see persistence. Like it, when you watch the way James Harden approaches each game, there's no difference. That's why he's had so many triple doubles. The the amount of double doubles he's had, double digit uh, assist in all, but I believe four games that he has played as a net. And so his approach this season has been surgical. And, and when you talk about all the emotions that come with playing back home, and we talked about it on the broadcast, where his numbers here in Houston alone most likely would put him in the Hall of Fame and he still has so much more of uh, basketball to play but I love the way he led this and a lot of times teamed players try and like support a player when they're going into these environments obviously not a hostile environment it wasn't packed with fans so it wasn't probably as emotional but it's great to get that monkey off your back and get a win your first time playing back with your old team yeah, and not only was James Harden extraordinary, but you take a look at the fact that the Nets have 33 assists, the continued look from top to bottom, how everyone is able to make contributions, a lot of that initiated through how James Harden has been organizing this offense. What have you noticed in the growth, whether it's Nicholas Claxton, how he's come on, Bruce Brown, how he continues to play, Joe Harris, of course, Kyrie Irving. What does that do for this group now here in the first half of the season, having so many of these complimentary and role players contributing? Well, I, I think the entire league, that's what the entire league is kind of worried about. That That's when you start to see Landry Shamit playing well. You're starting to get contributions, whether it's Tyler Johnson or Tyler, or, or Landry Shamit. Uh, Claxton coming on has been amazing because you see that he's capable. When you have a rookie and he's sitting behind two very, very good players, all of a sudden he gets an opportunity and uh, is he's not a deer in headlights. He's going out there and contributing, blocking shots. You can see his comfortability can continuing to increase every single game and every minute he's out on the floor. And that's just giving the rest of the league notice that it's not just three superstars you're going to have to deal with, but there is a crew of guys that's coming behind them that also has a lot of confidence that's growing. Yeah, crew coming behind, including the hopeful return of Kevin Durant, Jeff Green, Timothee Luawu Cabarro did, did not play here tonight. Um, so the Nets look to eventually get back to full strength as we take a break here for All-Star break and get back at it against Boston next Thursday for myself and Richard Jefferson. Uh, Chris, let's send it back to you guys in the studio.